Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. On March 6th, the EXO just released Pure Raw 4, the raw enhancement tool with an improved denoising technology, Deep Prime XD2. This is an unusual step for the EXO as normally an improved denoising would be released first as a feature in Photolab before Pure Raw, which makes me suspect this was really supposed to be in Photolab 7 all along, but didn't make the final deadline. In any event, we are glad it is here, and in this video, we will be finding out whether Deep Prime XD2 makes it worth the upgrade to Pure Raw 4. So let's get right into it. Before we go to the comparison, I'd like to briefly point out some other improvements to Pure Raw 4. One main improvement is real time preview which allows you to get an idea of the final result before you actually process the images. Let's demonstrate this by adding a raw file. As you can see, there is now a process with preview button available. Let's click it. As noise reduction is an extremely processor intensive task, I'll zoom in to make it easier for the app. Right now, preview not updated is displayed. I'll click update. As you can see, as I drag the handle, I can now view the before and after, and if I'm not satisfied in any way, make changes before I actually do the processing. A big workflow improvement. DxO also claims improvements to its lens softness correction, which we won't be testing here, and file renaming. These are all welcome additions. However, the headline feature and the reason most people would upgrade to DxO Pure Raw 4 would be for its noise reduction. So let's view a slideshow comparison of Deep Prime XD and Deep Prime XD2. And at the end of the slideshow, I'll let you know if XD2 is worth the upgrade. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Do note I used default settings throughout the tests and ensured that lens softness correction is off. So was there an improvement? If it was not obvious from the slideshow, yes, there was. While Deep Prime XD2 clears up the noise in much the same way as XD, since DxO still claims a 2.5 stop improvement in XD2, XD2 does retain more detail than Deep Prime XD. You can see that in these examples. The biggest improvement though of XD2, in my view, was the reduction of artifacts. And this is something DxO didn't talk about in their presentation. The older Deep Prime XD had a tendency to overdo its detail enhancement in a way that produces ugly artifacts, particularly in faces, as you see here. As a workaround, I would actually avoid XD altogether and revert back to the older D prime because of this problem. Well, this problem is solved in D prime XD2. DxO has dialed back the detail enhancement and now produces more natural looking and acceptable results, as you can see here. Bravo, no more going back to Deep Prime. So is Deep Prime XD2 worth the upgrade to Pure Raw 4? Well, it depends. If you are a Pure Raw 2 user, I would say yes. XD2 is a significant jump in quality from Deep Prime. However, if you are already a Pure Raw 3 user, I would say 
if artifacts are a problem for you, as it was for me, I would say yes. That problem, as you've seen, has largely been fixed in XD2. However, if you don't have that issue affecting your images, I would say no, as the improved detail recovery, while clearly present, is a relatively minor improvement, and you would have to zoom close to appreciate the difference. In any case, I think it is clear that D-Prime XD2 gives better results and DxO has widened the performance gap with its competitors, who in reality are still trying to catch up with D-Prime XD. This solidifies DxO as still the one to beat when it comes to denoising technology. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you're upgrading to DxO Pure Raw 4. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.